Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. This is Annie Miraj Kedvai, and I hope you all are doing wonderfully well. To know more about me, please go and check out the website that is www.vertexsolution.com to find all the details about me there. So, ladies and gentlemen, what I am going to share in this video today, I'm going to talk about what is cognitive inertia. At times, we are often stuck in similar patterns or sticky situations which doesn't uh, let us grow in our lives or make certain decisions in our life that can move us um, towards the positive direction can be a habit a decision we have to make in our lives or a pattern of thinking or a thought process that we have to change for our better good sometimes it is required that you, the thought process or the thoughts that coming in in your mind are not in your control for that definitely you look up for uh, therapeutic guidance from a therapist a clinical psychologist for your cognitive restructuring but what I mean here about cognitive inertia is that when a belief a thought or a habit that you are unable or unwilling to change or in short and brief if I would like to define it it implies to resist to change right for example a habit of smoking or binge eating or certain kind of a diets that can uh, you know uh, alter your health overall uh, towards destruction for example or uh, your mental or physical health that can be um, affected with certain uh, food choices with certain lifestyle choices so there you are unwilling to change because you are in a comfort zone you are comfortable there and you are unwilling to challenge your thought process you are unwilling to challenge yourself and you are sitting in a comfortable position and you are not taking any kind of a decision so your decision making becomes slower as well despite the facts that can bring growth to you in every way and you are unable or unwilling to take a call on to that, that and you are getting stuck into that particular situation into a particular thought process or a belief that is what is called as cognitive inertia so how can you overcome cognitive inertia and it is very much required for people who are in the leadership role right in the managerial roles or you know in everyday situation in everyday life as well so the first uh, recommendation for this I would like to give you that you can go for cognitive restructuring as well uh, uh, and of course you can work along with a psychologist or a therapist to rebuild the thought process or cognitive restructuring can be done as I am repeatedly saying this the other th techniques uh, on your own you can uh, apply that you have to motivate yourself in a way to work against your moods right now it is extremely difficult and I understand that it is very difficult to work against your moods. For example, if you are feeling extremely lazy and you have to clean up, you have to tidy up and you know that the fact is in front of your eyes that your room is untidy, your room is not clean, but you are feeling lazy, you are not in the mood to clean up. So here is a belief that it's okay, let it be, let, it, let the room be like this, let the room be, you know, uh, uh, untidy how does it matter nobody is coming to see or nobody uh, how it going to change uh, the situation or my situation of my life or me as a whole so here it, it's a fixed pattern of thinking it's a fixed thought process that you are unwilling to change this belief this thought in your mind that if I get up if I become a little active here if I try to clean and tidy up my room, it will affect me in a positive way, my mood and of course my uh, my lifestyle choices and affects my personality internally overall as well. So you have to make certain choices um, with respect to cognitive inertia that keeps you stuck into a belief, a pattern of thinking or in a situation and how can you do that? You may make certain choices again certain choices against your mood as i just said that can uplift or take you towards the growth okay you can practice focusing on the positives right and working on those positives by building small goals for yourself so 
you need to make goals so goal setting is important here to understand and don't don't uh, make very big goals very very huge goals that seems unattainable in the near future make small goals right and try to work on those goals despite uh, whatever uh, is stopping you whatever thought or whatever belief is stopping you for example if you set a goal to reduce 5 kg of your body weight or 5 kg of your weight or trying to become more healthy physically or mentally and you have set a goal for that that i will remove certain kind of foods certain kind of toxic foods which are not good for me or certain kind of uh, drinks which are toxic for me or from my diet and whenever we go through a change of course when from a long period of time when you are in that pattern for example you are eating a lot of oily food you are uh, drinking a lot of sugar on uh, artificial sugar you are intaking of course when you suddenly switch your diet to something healthier your body gets confused about it right and it will take some time for you to uh, adapt to the new situation or environment and your body takes time to adapt to new situations and to the new food choices or new environment that you're putting your body into and of course whenever you try to create any sort of a change it will affect your mood because you are your brain becomes comfortable and has taken that much of space in what you were already doing in the past probably it might not be healthy for you so certain hormones gets released in your body which, which gives you a lot of pleasure in doing those things which might be harmful for you so it takes time to get into the shape of discipline for you so for that you have to motivate yourself you have to set targets for yourself you have to keep reminding yourself now and then that i have set these goals for myself make small goals don't make very huge goals and i have set those goals for myself and i have to practice discipline here by keep you know you can keep reminders about it and if it is going in extreme definitely you can take uh, a gui uh, take guidance of a therapist or a counselor or a, or a psychologist so that they can help you rebuilding your thought process and definitely uh, the 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 negative thoughts that uh, you know keeps you uh, stuck in a in a particular situation that is uh, th that doesn't let you uh, uh, pursue what is actually good for you so that restructuring of thought process can be done through cbt cognitive behavioral therapy behavioral therapies of course uh, as well so this is in short and brief about cognitive in inertia and i've already spoke a lot about that how can you build certain strategies that can of course help you overcome this uh, cognitive inertia uh, uh, you know in, in your routine life in a daily life if it is not in extreme right so uh, set targets set goals and remind yourself about those targets make small goals and try to work against uh, your mood and to work against your mood you have to push yourself right so it is all about the the, the discipline uh, that you can bring in your life to follow a particular schedule or a schedule that you have set for yourself to to achieve those targets right so this way you can break this cognitive inertia. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.